Well, leading a ministry uh, in a global pandemic during the lockdown has been challenging. It's caused me to rethink and reconsider how I do everything. And so right now we're sitting in my garage and this is the place where I did uh, six marriage seminars and probably 20 different classes. And I mean, there's so many different classes and meetings and events we did. Well, I would say one of the leading things we, we can celebrate is just uh, how many people were attending Calvary as just kind of spectators that really became members of Calvary, became committed to Calvary, to the mission of our church. So I, I got to kind of have a front row seat at meeting a lot of those people in class 101 and seeing them engage through coffee and prayer and people just being able to articulate their desire to be involved in the mission of our church. We know the numbers don't mean everything, but for us it's great to see that people are connecting the ministry we have. And so in class 101, we had over 150 people take class 101 and become members. For our men's Bible study, we went from like 40 guys to about 120 guys on a weekly basis meeting in the Bible study. We saw an increase in over 100 and about 130 women that joined our Wednesday Women's Connect and our also our Wednesday morning study. And then we started a marriage, a marriage seminar from uh, June all the way to December. We had 200 170 couples. I, I would say the biggest lesson that I've learned through this season is what we hear in uh, Hebrews 10, 24 to 25, that we shouldn't give up, the, give up the habit of gathering together as some do. People need people. And the ministry is built on relatedness and relationship. Everyone needs someone that's in their life supporting them spiritually, whether it's applying uh, God's word to their life, uh, praying with someone or encouraging them, going on walks, all those things. People need of course, relationships, we, but people most importantly need spiritual friendships. Discipleship and adult ministries is a place where people are finding that. We facilitate that work for people in their lives. And I love how many, how many stories I've seen where people have found those relationships they've been able to develop. I just, uh, I, I grieve uh, with the idea of people feeling held back from being able to gather uh, with God's people and to hear His Word, to sing songs of praise to God. And so I'm excited about seeing all of that restored for a lot of people. Now, I recognize some of those things may not look and feel the same way they felt in the past, but fundamentally, I hope that people will feel free to worship God and experience the fellowship that God offers to all of us. I think I'm excited about seeing that return for everybody.